हेलो बच्चो सत श्री अकाल नमस्ते फ्रॉम माई साइड हाउ यू ऑल सो गाइज दिस इज इंद्रजीत सिंह योर ओन फिजिक्स एजुकेटर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू द मोस्ट सेंसफुल चैनल राइट फिजिक्स वाला डब्ल्यू इंग्लिश एंड टू द प्योर इंग्लिश मोड राइट सो गाइज आई मस्ट से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस राइट द एजेंडाज ऑफ द टूडेज लेक्चर अ वेरी ऑसम थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे एंड दैट इज देंस मेकर फॉर्मूला ओके आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट वी आर नॉट हैविंग द स्पेसिफिक सिमुलेशन फॉर इट आई ट्राई टू सर्च इट आउट ओके बट वी आर नॉट हैविंग दैट स्पेसिफिक सिमुलेशन फॉर इट we are having the simulation for the dispersion we are having the simulations for the uh, telescopes and everything maximum part right we have covered we have i've tried to search it out okay but for this we were not having any kind of the simulation so that's why for that reason we are directly starting it from here the lens bigger's formula is a quite interesting concept there are some important points yesterday's if if you, uh, the students those who are watching now if they move on to the uh, yesterday's lecture they might have seen okay the two most uh, important things we have discussed okay uh, i'm uh, reframing my statement there are some noteworthy points that we missed on basis of those noteworthy points this lens makers formula is defined Among those, yesterday one of the two we discussed it out. We discussed that, but like the those points, uh, right? Uh, within some amount of the time, I'm going to reveal those. But whenever they will come up in front, now you will be like, oh man, we missed that. Okay, so. i think without wasting our time let's move on to the specific part that is lens makers formula generally if students are aware of in yesterday's lecture right students are aware of in yesterday's lecture we discussed about the lenses right yesterday i told you all yesterday we discusses the we discuss the cases about let us see an example this is a case of the convex lens i told you all this is nothing else but the thin convex lens right and when i told you all the radius of curvature is same on both side so my question to you all is is it for sure this is how lenses are made question mark is this how the lenses are made all lenses that exist into the earth are having the same radii on the both side is there any kind of the see i am framing the questions here okay those questions are really going to help us a lot okay first point do all lenses have the same radii on both sides is this the procedure or is this the way how lenses are made third most important point is there any kind of a medium in between the lenses okay is it any kind of a medium in general cases we are taking the surrounding medium as air what happens when left uh, this, uh, this lenses are kept into some else medium like suppose they are kept in water they are kept in oil they are kept in grease right so the fourth question what happens 
two phenomena when the surrounding medium changes by water or some uh, refractive index eta, a medium with the refractive index eta. Okay. So, from yesterday's lecture, I told you all the lens is thin, right? Okay. Right now, we are not taking the span of this lens, right, into the consideration. We are considering it as a quite negligible, right? We are taking the span of the lens as a quite a negligible part. This thing we have discussed into the previous lecture. Okay. So, this all are the noteworthy points and on the basis of this noteworthy points, we are going to discuss the lens makers formula and with that lens makers formula, we are also going to discuss the refraction from the spherical surfaces. Right. Refraction from the spherical surfaces. So, I am moving aside on the countdown of 10 seconds. You can just note this point. You can. Those are quite mandatory because we are going to answer all of those. Right. We are going to answer all of those. Generally, thin lens formula, the thing we have discussed, it is derived from lens makers formula only. Right now. Moving aside. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, you might have paused the video. Now, let's move on to the general discussion. What is an actual idea of the lens makers formula? Right? So, here I am talking about the actual idea. Right? How lenses are made? Let us take an example from the C. I told you all, suppose let us take an example that this is a spherical surface. And this is the radius of curvature of that spherical surface. Okay. From this, a small spherical part is cut like this way. Right. The small spherical part is cut like this way. Right. It has been cut it out. Okay. So, when we get this type of a part, okay, this type of a cut it spherical part, when we get this type of a cutted spherical part, you have seen the pie of a watermelon. Generally, when we used to move on for a buying a watermelons, na, right? You are a bhaiya meetha hai ki nahi And we do, we want to check the redness of the. <laughs> Sorry for this word. Redness is not kind of a, right? A specific word, but we want to check this. Oh, the melon is quite red, reddish. Yes, that's a specific. But I heartily apologize. <laughs> Okay, so it might be quite sweet. If it reddish, it might be quite sweet. So this kind of the psychology we hold. Okay, so the same. While blurring out the surfaces, if we are keeping the outer surface as a polish, then this becomes the concave. If we are making the inner surface as a polish, then this kind of the mirror becomes convex. Okay. The same thing is going on, but now I am going to take the two surfaces. I am going to take the two surfaces. Okay, one surface from this side, one surface from this side. I am going to, I am going to join in that procedure. I am going to join both of those surfaces. Okay. This is how lenses are made. And for this specific thing, we are having the lens makers formula. Okay. This is how lenses are made. And for that specific thing, we are having the lens makers formula. So, uh, 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 lenses generally appears in front of us like this way. Right. This is a pole. Lenses generally appears in front of us like this way. Okay, but both of the parts are separately cutted. Okay, and suppose the in between medium is filled with the refractive index. Can I say it is eta 2? Can I say the surrounding medium has a refractive index as a eta 1? Okay, so this is the 
refractive index of the surrounding medium. When eta 2 is refracting index inside the lens, the medium inside the lens, right? Now, both are having their own radius of curvature. How? Suppose, let us take an example. This is having the radius of curvature is R1. Okay? So, how it is defined? This is the spherical part from which is cut. If I am talking about this side, it is having the radius of curvature as R2. Okay. So, how it is, how we are going to define. Right. So, this two parts are separated individually, right, from the two spherical surfaces and are joined together. That is a possibility that both of the surfaces might have different radii of curvatures. There is a possibility that both parts may get cut it out from the same material the same spherical surface so there is a possibility they might be having the same radius of curvature if i am defining this side is r this side is r right okay so as of that reason this th lens will be considered as the thin lens thin lens it means there is no medium behind it we are not taking uh, that thing into the consideration. Okay. So, here comes the lens makers formula. But before moving on to the lens makers formula, uh, this is an important thing and this is mentioned into the very less number of resources. The information that I have conveyed right now, okay, the thing that I have delivered right now, it is present into the very less number of the resources. So, my request to you all is if you want to just note this down. Right, this is an actual idea how the lenses are made. Okay, one side the radius of curvature, another side the radius of curvature, the refractive index in between them, and the refractive index of the surrounding medium. These are the four important things. Right, this is how the four important things. And through the lens makers formula, obviously, we are going to define how the focal length value is designed, like how we get the focal length value of the specific lens. Right, so I'm moving aside on the count of 10 seconds. If you want to just note this down, you can 10. 9, 8, right, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, you hope so, you all have minded, pause the video, right, and you have did that part. Yes or no, guys? Right, you have, okay. Now, Let's move on to the actual statement and the actual formula of lens makers formula. Right. The lens maker formula states, suppose if I'm talking about this is just a reference lens. Okay. This side, the radius of the curvature is R2. This side, the radius of curvature is R1. Inside the refractive index is eta 2. Outside the refractive index is eta 1. If this is the situation, then this will not be considered as the thin lens. Okay. Even this is not even the biconvex lens. Biconvex lens, it means both of your side, we are having the same radius of curve. Right. In some of the cases, in all of those resources, it is written something. Okay. Lots of terminologies are used. But right now, we are not moving on to that part. Okay. Simply, this is not a thin lens. Right. It is having some span. It is having some, right, okay, okay, the rest of the things will be cleared into the refraction from the spherical surfaces, right. So, yeah, the focal length of this kind of the lenses, the general formula of the focal length, right, for this kind of the, right, lenses is defined as, this is nothing else but the lens makers formula. This is nothing else but the lens makers formula. From this, right, lots of things are defined. From this, lots of things are defined. Okay. So, now, on basis of this lens maker's formula, let's have this sum. Okay, let's have the focal length. Okay. Suppose, uh, something we are going to change. First, 
I am having the convex lens. Okay, here. Uh, some students uh, are completely aware of what actual the lens makers formula is all about, but they always used to get confused into the sign conventions with respect to the pole. This side will be always considered as the negative. With respect to the pole, this side will be considered as the positive. Suppose this is having the radius of curvature R1. Okay. Then this is the value of R1. So this will be the positive. If this side of the lens is having the radius of curvature R2, right, then this part will be considered as R2, right. So here R1 will be the positive value, R2 will be the negative as per the sign conventions. This is the issue where students are going to get confused. This is a matter, this is a myth. Right. Generally, what happens? They used to do some of the sums. Okay, and in maximum number of the sums, as uh, what the lenses are made. Okay, as what the lenses are made in some of the sums, what happens? One side R1 is taken as a positive. Second side they are R2 is taken as a negative, or vice versa. So generally, they used to check it out. Arre, among two, one is positive. Just apply and get the formula. Please don't do dialect. Don't do like that. Okay, just follow the actual logic behind it. Okay, just follow the actual logic behind it. It is mandatory. Right. So here, yeah, suppose if I want to calculate, if, okay, let's take an example. Okay, suppose the R2 side, it is taken as the 10 centimeter and uh, R1 side, it is taken as the, let's say, uh, 20 centimeter. One side the radius of curvature is 10 centimeter. Second side the radius of curvature is inside. Right now let us see an example. I have taken the refractive index as 4 by 3. And outside I have taken as the air. So the refractive index of the air is considered as the 1. The refractive index of the material it is eta 2 that is, is equal to 4 by 3. So the question states that. What will be the actual focal length of this kind of the lenses? Suppose if I am designing, someone given me, give me a task. You have to design this kind of the lens. In between the refractive index should be 4 by 3. One side the curvature should be of 10 centimeter. Second side the curvature should be of the 20 centimeter. We have to define that focal length. So data is given. We have to find out what actual the focal length is all about. Okay. Data is driven. Okay, so uh, according to the lens makers formula, one by f that will be equivalent to eta two by eta one minus one, one by r one minus one by r two. Right. So now, in this case. Okay, this is an R1, R1 will be considered as the positive, R2 will be considered as the negative. Okay, so can I write it out 1 by focal length, that is, is equal to 4 by 3 minus 1, okay, and that is 1 by R1, R1 value is what? 10 centimeter minus 1 by 20. So 1 by F, that is, is equal to 1 by 3, right, so this is going to be 20 plus 10 whole divided by 20 into 10. Right. So, 1 by f that is going to be 1 by 3 into 30 whole divided by 20 into 10. So, this is going to get cancelled. So, the focal length of the lens it is going to come upon as plus 20 centimeter. Okay. This is the way the lenses are made. The focal length of the lens it is 20 centimeter. On basis of this, how you are going to define the power of the lens? Power of lens is nothing else but the inverse of the focal length. Power of lens is nothing else but the inverse of the focal lens. Generally, it is measured into the diopter. Suppose here the focal length is going to come upon as 1 by 20. Right, so that is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 1. Right, so it will be C power of the lens 
it is inverse of the focal length. So it is 1 by 20. So it is 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 1. Right. So that is uh, 5 into 10 to the power minus 2. So the power it is nothing else but plus 5 diopter. Okay. The unit of the power of the lens is diopter. Okay. This we all are aware of. This we have seen. Okay. It is not a, as a major issue as what we are right thinking about. This is the power of the lens that we are talking about. The power of the lens we are talking about. Right? Quite easy calculations, quite easy stuff. Uh, quite easy calculations, quite easy stuff. Now, if you want to just note this down, you can just, okay, because now we are going to improvise those sums and we are going to enjoy. Come on everyone. The countdown of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Second point. Now. I'm changing a data. Okay. Suppose, let us take an example. I made this kind of lens. Okay. The one side, the radius of curvature R1, that is equivalent to 10 centimeter. The second side, the radius of curvature R2, that will be considered as the 20 centimeter. Inside, I have filled the refractive index as 4 by 3, right, eta 2. And outside, I have filled the refractive index, I have considered it as an error. The question states, calculate the power of the lens. Or, to calculate the power of the lens, we have to cross right through the focal length. To calculate the power of the lens, we have to calculate right the focal length. Okay, slowly, slowly we are going to improvise those sums. So, uh, you will have an actual idea how the sums basis on the lens speakers formulas are asked into an examination. Okay, now a simple calculation that is coming in, coming up in front. Okay, according to the lens makers formula. According to lens makers formula. Okay, 1 by f that is is equal to eta 2 by eta 1 minus 1. 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Here, the myth of the student is going to get break because in whatsoever the resources you are referring, na, okay, the first 2 to 3 sums based on the lens makers formula always have one radius as a positive and another one as a negative. Okay. And to the critical thinking, whenever you are moving on, you are solving the, right, the critical thinking sums Okay, at that point of time, you feel, oh, I have learned something else. So, as of that reason, in the beginning, only I have discussed, right, the core concept and the general formula from which the maximum number of the sums can be solved. The same thing we are going to use. Here, both of the radii are negative. See, both of the radii are negative. Both of the radii are negative. So, here what we are going to do, we are going to calculate 1 by f, that is equal to 4 by 3 minus 1, right? 1 is 10, second is 20. So, 1 is negative of 10 plus 1 by 20, right? So, 1 by f, that is going to be 4 by 3 minus 1, that is nothing else but 1 by 3. Okay, we are not going to waste time on that, right? So, here 20 minus 10 whole divided by 20 into minus 10. So, 1 by f that is is equal to 1 by 3, 10 by minus 20 into 10. 
So this 10 is going to get cancelled. The focal length of the lens it is coming as negative of 60 centimeter. Right? Negative of uh, I think minus 20 plus 10. Ah, okay. Negative of the 60 centimeter. Okay. So important thing in the lens maker formula is R1 and R2. Now again I am going to improvise the third sum. Okay, don't get worried. But first of all, you need to just note this down. Come on, everyone, you can note it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I am going to take the data of the previous question. Okay, the power of the lens is remaining. The power of the lens is be 1 by 6. Right. So, power that is, is equal to 1 by 6. Right. Into 10 to the power minus 1. So, 100 divided by 6. So, 100 by 30, 30. I think it will be approximately negative of 1.7 diopter. Okay. Negative of something 1.7 diopter. Okay. So, now I am taking up the data of the previous question. The same data R120, R2, uh, R120, R2 we have taken as 10. Okay, the same data we are taking and we are improvising this sum. Okay, so this will help us in understanding the lens maker's formula. Again, see this is a lens. Okay, this side R2 we are having 10 centimeter. Okay, this side R1 we are having 20 centimeter. Inside the refractive index is 4 by 3. Outside we are having the refractive index of the air as 1. Now suppose if the object is kept 30 centimeter in front of this. Object is kept at the 30 centimeter in front of this. Then what is going to happen? At what point? Right, we are going to get the final image. Okay, what will be the final image? Okay, you can consider what will be the nature of the image. and So, in this kind of the question, first of all, you have to cross through the focal length. Generally, okay, into the previous lecture we have seen, right, a thin lens formula is coming up in front, lens was kept, object distance is given, focal length is given. Right, we were applying the lens makers formula, we are applying the magnification, and uh, we are uh, just having a small mathematical calculations and we are reaching up to the results. In that case, also, maximum number of the students were doing a mistake, right, and that comes up a calculation mistake. But here, one st extra step has been added. I am shutting off the AC, right? One extra step has been added. What would be that extra step? First of all, we need to calculate the focal length of the system, right? First of all, what we need to calculate, we need to calculate the focal length of the system. So, through the lens makers formula, we are going to calculate the focal length. That is eta 2 minus eta 1 minus 1, 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2, right? So, here, yeah. oh, so this thing we have done, we have already calculated the focal length, see, from this step, the focal length it came upon as plus 20 centimeter. It means that, right, okay, the rays actually meet, suppose the bunch of the rays are coming, okay, so they are meeting somewhere here. Okay, so this is F plus 20 centimeter okay the focal length of the lens now we are going to apply the lens formula the focal length is positive plus 20 right minus 30 is a u right whole divided by 20 minus 30 the image it is going to be uh, minus 20 into 30 whole divided by 10 negative 1 is going to get cancelled the image is going to obtain at plus 60 centimeter distance right the image is going to obtain as a plus 60 centimeter distance okay so this is how things are going to get calculated okay 
this is how things are going to get calculated. Again, we are going to improvise one sum. Okay, I am going to improvise one sum. Don't get worried. Okay, uh, let's move on to that part. Some sums basis on the power of the lenses and its combinations are also asked into an examination. So, you have to check it out. Okay. The combination of lenses. Okay. Combination of lenses. Suppose I am having the two lenses in front. Okay. One side the radius of curvature is 10 centimeter, second side the radius of curvature is 20 centimeter. One side radius of curvature is 10 centimeter, the second side the radius of curvature is 10 centimeter. The both of the lenses are joined. We need to calculate the resultant focal length of this combination of lenses. Resultant focal length for this kind of the combination of the lenses. Right. So, what happens here? First, for first we are going to solve R1 we have taken as a positive 10 centimeter and R2 we are taken as negative of 20 centimeter. So, this thing we have already calculated 1 by F1, we are going to get it, okay, both of the side inside is 4 by 3 and outside we are having the refractive index of the 1, right. So, it is 4 by 3 minus 1, okay, 1 by R1 value is taken as positive minus minus 1 by 20. So, F1 we actually got it as 20 centimeter positive, okay. If you want to keep it 1 by F1, then also it's okay. If you want to calculate the value of F1, then also it's okay. <coughs> Second part, R1 will be plus 10, R2 will be negative 10. So, 1 by F2, we are going to get it as 4 by 3 minus 1, okay, 1 by 10 minus minus 1 by 10, right. So, 1 by F2, that is going to be 1 by 3 into Okay, uh, this is uh, 10 plus 10 whole divided by 100. Okay, so F2 it is going to be plus 15 centimeter. So, one side we are going to get the focal length as plus 10 centimeter. Okay, we have to apply the two times, right? We have to apply the lens maker formula twice to solve this question. Now, suppose if I want to calculate the resultant focal length of the system. Okay, then resultant focal length of the system is the number of the lenses are added. Suppose we are having the n number of the lenses. So, this is how, right, the resultant focal length of the system is calculated. Okay, only formulas are there. Now, the logic will come upon only into the astronomical telescopes and the optical instruments, right. Okay, the microscope and telescope. And those logics are also quite simple. We are going to understand that into the most convenient manner, right. Now, 1 by f, see now, what we are going to do? 1 by f equivalent that is, is equal to 1 by 20 plus 1 by 10. Okay, 1 we got 15, I am sorry. Okay, 1 by 20 and 1 by 15. So, f equivalent 20 into 15 whole divided by 35, right. So, 5, 4 za, 5, 7 za, okay. So, this is going to be 60 by 7, 7, 8 is a 56, right, 7, 9 is a 63, so F equivalent it is going to be come upon as 8.7 uh, centimeter, something like that. This will be the resultant focal length of the system. If you want to calculate the power also, you can do that. It will come upon in 1 by 8, it's 0 0.125 diopter, near about, okay. So, from the lens speaker's formula, the questions, this kind of the questions are asked into an examination. Now, one question I am going to improvise and give you all into an homework. Okay, after that we will directly move on to the refraction through the spherical surfaces. Okay, so this would be sum number 5. Right, 
this would be some number five. Now, what happens here? Right? What happens here? Suppose this is a very interesting question. The one side, see this side, the radius of curvature, I have kept at 20 centimeter. Okay. This side, the radius of curvature, I have kept at, uh, you can say, not positive, but I am going to directly write down, I am going to write down the values. Right. The 10 centimeter. Okay. What is a positive? What is a negative? I have to check it out. Suppose, again, I am going to tell you all that at u is 30 centimeter, the object is kept in front of this. Right, object is kept in front of this. Calculate the image distance. Right. Okay, so this is awesome. Homework from my side. Okay. All of the students who are watching this video, you have to answer all of those homework questions. We need the video. Okay. You all have to answer those homework questions. We need the video. Right. So, calculate the image distance. Calculate the image distance. Right. So, uh, if you just note this down, you can. I am giving you all the 10 seconds. You can just pause this video. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. And if you want to just note this down the previous uh, sum also, you can. Okay. You can just pause this video and note this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's it. Okay. Okay. So things are going to get clear. Now, let's move on directly to the refraction from spherical surfaces. The lens maker formula that we have seen a moment before, okay, are having the two radius of curvatures. Now I am talking about that system. I am talking about the spherical surface that is having only single, see, spherical surface. I am going to compare its analogy with a slab. We were having the slab, na? this was a slab, we were applying the lens formula, RA, Snell's law, the inside is refractive index and refraction was occurring. The analogy to that, we are talking about the refracting surfaces. This is a spherical refracting surface having only one radius of curvature. R1. Okay. Having only, see, this is how the spherical surfaces are made. Right. This is how the spherical surfaces are made. Having only one radius of curvature, right, that is R1. Okay. So, if I am talking about the entire spherical part, okay, if I am talking about the entire spherical thing, This entire part is cut in. Okay, this entire part is cut in and it forms the spherical surface. Okay, previously what I told you all, this part is cut like a watermelon pie, right, okay, but here 
now entire surface is cut entire surface oh man entire surface is cut sorry for that the ink on the entire slide went unrubbed okay the entire surface is cut okay so here comes directly we are going to use the formula refraction from the spherical surfaces right refraction from the spherical surfaces now this is having a uh, right this holds a typical concept right this holds the typical concepts right generally this formula is defined for only single kind of the surface if it is having the multiple one okay then we are going to face a refraction from the multiple sides okay how suppose if i am talking about this refracting surface okay that is having the radius of curvature as r okay this is a refracting surface having the radius of the curvature as r okay so the formula the inside refractive index right it is eta 2 inside the refractive index it is eta 2 outside is eta 1 okay so how we are going to write down this formula mu 2 by v minus mu 1 by u that is is equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 whole divided by r or mu 2 by v minus mu 1 by u that is not mu 2 okay the symbolic notation differs right eta 2 by v minus eta 1 by u that is is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 whole divided by r this is the thing that came up in front okay using this formula now we are going to solve some of this sums but if you want to just note this down you can just right on the countdown of 10 seconds we are going to move forward to this sum right Come on everyone, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do directly sums basis on that. Okay, let's move on directly. Suppose, Again, I am going to say the in inside refractive index is 4 by 3, outside refractive index is the 1. Okay, the radius of the curvature, I am going to take it as uh, plus 20 centimeter. This is going to ease up our calculation. You can take plus 10 also, let us check it out. Okay, now what we are going to do, suppose if the object is kept, right, suppose if the object is kept, okay, at the distance of right at the distance of okay 20 centimeter in front of this spherical surface object is kept at a 20 centimeter in front of the spherical surface okay so if it is 20 centimeter then we have to take this as 10 right okay. now what will be the image distance within it what we have to calculate we have to calculate the image distance Right, in this magnification is also defined, but it is the same procedure. The thing that we need, the important stuff we are going to discuss. So, this is the solution. Okay, directly we are going to apply the formula n2 by v n1 by u that is, is equal to n2 minus n1 whole divided by r. Okay, so n2 is 4 by 3. V we need to calculate n1 is 1. Okay, u is negative of 20 centimeter that is is equal to 4 by 3 minus 1 whole divided by the radius of curvature is positive so we are taking it as a 10 okay so it is 4 by 3v plus 1 by 20 that is is equal to 1 by 30 so 4 by 3v that is is equal to 1 by 30 minus 1 by 20 okay all of those conventions we have applied don't get worried right okay uh, r is positive Okay, no worries. So, 4 by 3v, this is going to come upon as 20 minus 30 whole divided by 20 into 30. So, 3v by 4, it is going to come upon as 20 into 30 whole divided by minus 10. 
this thing is going to get cut, 3 is going to get cut. So, V we are going to get it as negative of 80 centimeter. This will be the image distance and this is how it is calculated using the formula. I am moving aside on the countdown of 10 seconds, right, we have to just note this down. How we are going to define the magnification for it? The formula of the magnification differs, right, magnification for this generally we are defining it as a lateral magnification okay that is is equal to mu1 by mu2 into v by u that is is equal to eta1 by eta2 into v by u so magnification suppose if you want to define the magnification right eta1 is 1 4 by 3 image distance we are going to get it as we got it as negative of 80 centimeter right an object distance we kept it as 20 negative of 20 centimeter. So, this is going to be positive 20 forza 4 4 is going to get cut magnification we are going to get it as plus 3 image will be magnified. Okay. So, the magnification for the refracting surfaces are defined by this formula. Okay. Just this is a mandatory stuff you want to just note this down you can come on everyone. The magnification for this kind of the surfaces is defined by this formula. Right. It is defined by this formula. So, just note this down. Come on, everyone. Now, let us improvise this second sum. Suppose we are having the two refracting surfaces, the same question that we can. Okay. Students are having one doubt. Those who are watching of this lecture, they might be having one doubt. I am going to clear that part. Do not get worried. Suppose we are going to have eta 2 we are going to take it as 4 by 3 ok the r 1 we are going to take it as let us say 10 centimeter again here r 2 we are going to take it as 10 centimeter object is kept at 20 centimeter in front of this lens ok at what position the final image will be so here how we have improvised this sum Right. How we have improvised this sum? The sum improvisation is like now we are having the two refracting surfaces. Previously, we were having only one refracting surface. Now, we are having the two refracting surfaces. So, suppose if the object is kept here. First step for this first refracting surface, just check it out. What will be the position of the image? So, if I am talking about the first part. Right. On applying the formula for the refraction of the spherical surfaces, eta 2 by v minus eta 1 by u that is, is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 whole divided by r. Now, in this case, r is taken as a negative. Okay. So, eta 2 is 4 by 3 v minus 1 by negative of 20. Object distance is negative 20 and that is 4 by 3 minus 1 whole divided by r will be taken as negative. So, 4 by 3v plus 1 by 20 that is, is equal to 1 by negative of 30. So, 4 by 3v that is, is equal to negative of 1 by 30 negative of 1 by 20. So, 3v by 4 that is going to be negative of 50 whole divided by negative of 20 into 30. So, uh, below it is going to be positive. So, this v is going to get cancelled. So, 3v by 4 it is going to be negative. Uh, 5 by 6, sorry, 5 by uh, 60. So, 4 15s are 3s are. V, it is going to be negative of uh, 1 by 9 centimeter. Okay. V, it is going to be, uh, allow me to check it out. Okay. V, it is going to be negative of 1 by 9 centimeter. This is the image distance of the first object. It is somewhat obtained here. Okay. Now, suppose this distance is given. You can take. 
it's okay. We are not moving on to that much complex concept right now. Okay. V1 we got it as a one minor. Here the first image will be formed. For the second refracting surface, this will act like an object. And this kind of the sums we have seen before. So again, we are going to apply that stuff. Right. Mu2 by V minus mu1 by U. That is, is equal to mu2 minus mu1 whole divided by R. Allow me to check it out whether we have done any kind of the mistake or not. U is 24 by 3 minus 1. 10 so 4 by 3 plus 1 by 20 that is equal to minus 1 by 30 so 4 by 3 v okay 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 yes we have done mistake okay, yes we have done a small mistake i told you one now okay the small mistake calculation mistake that we have done is 4 by 3 V that is equal to negative of 50 whole divided by 30 into 20. 3 V by 4 that is equal to 30 into 20 right whole divided by 50. Okay. So this 3 tens are this is okay let's keep it 4. 2s are 25s are 2s are 5s are 5 4s are. V is going to be negative of 16 centimeter. I heartily apologize for that. Okay, it is going to be negative of 16 centimeter. The position would be be here. Okay, position wouldn't be here. I told you all now. We have done any kind of the calculation mistake. Okay, here will be negative of 16 centimeter. Now same will act like an object for another. So it's 4 by 3. Okay, uh, this will be the final image V2. Again minus mu1 that is 1 whole divided by u. The object is kept at negative of 16 centimeter. So it is 4 by 3 minus 1 whole divided by r. What is the value of r? Again we have taken it as a negative 10 centimeter. Okay. So it is 4 by 3. This is a v2 is a final image formation. Right. It is 1 by 30 negative. So 4 by 3 v2 that is, is equal to 1 by 30 right plus 1 by sorry negative of 1 by 10 right so it is 4 by 3 v2 that is, is equal to negative of 40 whole divided by 30 into 10 this is going to get cancelled so 3 v2 whole divided by 4 is equal to negative of 30 whole divided by 4 so this is going to get cancelled v2 is somewhere we are going to get it as negative 10 centimeter this will be the final image formation Right. Okay. So this was all about the power of the lenses, the refracting from the the refraction from the spherical surfaces, right? Okay, and lots of the stuff. I think let's keep that much enough for today. Okay. So uh, regarding this lecture, I will be waiting for all of your comments beneath the video. Right. I think it's time to move on. Okay. Now in this lecture, uh, lecture the prism part is remaining, and the telescope and microscope part is remaining. Okay, so that we are going to discuss tomorrow in the ninth lecture and the last lecture will be completely based on the PYQs and I am going to tell you all that how these sums are asked into an examination and we are going to compare those PYQs to the content that I have taught, right. I am going to compare those PYQs to the content that I have taught. So, you will get an idea what actually the things are, how actually the things are going on, right. So, guys, it is time to go. This is Indrajit Singh signing off from the desk. I will be waiting for all of your feedbacks beneath the video. Bye bye, Satsuri Akal and Namaste from my side, Bachaji. Bye everyone. Stay at home, stay safe, stay healthy, MSS. Bye, Bachaji.